Bitcoin mining stocks from a valuation standpoint look incredibly cheap, but there seems to be no buyers in the space. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into this topic and try to figure out why investors are so scared of investing in crypto mining stocks like Hive Blockchain, like Riot, like Marathon, and also like Hut8. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get straight to the video. And now the broader market has been suffering from a lot of fears. We have the fear of the war in Ukraine. We have the fears of inflation. Interest rates are going up. The Federal Reserve is being less accommodative to the markets. We also have the issue of lockdowns in China and also fears of a recession. All of this is putting downward pressure, not only on crypto mining stocks and cryptos, but also in the stock market in general. Matter of fact, let's take a look at how a lot of stocks and indices have performed year to date. Now, the website that I'm using is called tradingview.com. This is not sponsored, but this is the platform that I am using. So what I've done is I've compared the NASDAQ indice to Bitcoin and also to all of the crypto mining stocks. So we can see how they performed relatively speaking. Now, the NASDAQ, which is right here, the IXIC on the year is down close to 25%, which is insane. Again, this is a huge drop for the NASDAQ. And there are fears that this is going to continue to drop as interest rates go up. And of course, as the fears of recession go up as well. Bitcoin on the year is down 36%. As I film this, it's trading around $30,000 200. Of course, if we take a look at the crypto mining stocks, and this is where a lot of the pain has been inflicted. MicroStrategy is down 63% year to date. That is brutal. HUT8 is down 64%. Riot is down close to 65%. Hive Blockchain is also down 65%. And Marathon Digital is down close to 65%. So pain across the board, but the crypto miners specifically have been underperforming. But the big question is, even though we've seen substantial declines on these stocks, why is no one buying? Even though from a financial and fundamental standpoint, a lot of these stocks look incredibly cheap. If you're new to the space and you're not familiar with what Bitcoin miners do, in very simple terms, they process all the transactions on the network and as a reward or an incentive for their work, they get paid in some instances, Bitcoin, for example. Now, as the network difficulty increases with time, I want you to appreciate that it's gonna take a lot more effort, a lot more software, hardware, and electricity for these Bitcoin miners to process these transactions. The total hash rate gives us a visual cue as to how the network difficulty has increased with time. As you guys can see, even though we've had some dips, for the most part, it's gone straight upwards, meaning it's becoming more difficult to mine for Bitcoin. The difficulty increases, that means that the Bitcoin miners are going to need more GPUs and they're also gonna be consuming more electricity. It's just going to be a more demanding process. With that being said, even though a lot of these crypto miners are going to be consuming a lot more resources, you need to appreciate even with the decline in the price of Bitcoin, most of these miners are still profitable. Even though they were much profitable when Bitcoin was at 60,000 USD per coin, for example, even at 30,000, most of these miners are making cash. With the substantial drop in a lot of these stocks, I do believe that there is an opportunity for you to find crypto miners that are trading at very, very attractive valuations. Let's switch over to Finviz. Again, this is not sponsored. This is just a website that I use and take a look at some of these crypto miners. The first stock that we're gonna check in on is Hive Blockchain. And this is a stock that we've covered quite often on the channel. Hive Blockchain based on Friday's close has a PE ratio of 1.89. To put it in perspective, guys, a PE ratio of less than 15 is considered to be incredibly cheap. This company is trading at 1.89. So you're paying basically nothing for that company's earnings. Based on the stock price right now and a PE ratio of 1.89, from a fundamental perspective, this stock is trading incredibly cheap. And we can also see a significant compression in price to earning ratios across the cryptocurrency sector. Now remember, most of these miners are still profitable even though Bitcoin has dropped substantially. Their gross margins are still quite high. This includes companies like Marathon, Riot Blockchain, Hut8, and of course, Hive Blockchain, just like we just discussed. Industry-wide, most of these crypto miners are still profitable, they still have good margins, and they still have Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They're still able to endure a lot of the downside that we've been seeing on Bitcoin. And this could be sustained for a pretty significant amount of time. Now, if we do go into a bear market where Bitcoin does drop below 20,000 or 15,000 per coin, this is when we're gonna see a significant issue with a lot of these crypto miners. That could potentially happen, but, but for the most part, most of these crypto miners, even though Bitcoin has dropped, are still in a pretty healthy position. 
if we go back to Bitcoin and we go to the most recent high, which was around November the 10th, which was trading at around 69,000 USD per coin and all the way down to the price that it's trading at today, it's down 56%. And a lot of these crypto miners are down close to 60, 70, and even in some cases, 80% of their value. So you really need to ask yourself a question. Knowing that most of these crypto miners are still profitable, knowing that they're still healthy and they have solid gross margins, is this a potentially a good time for you to be adding these into your portfolio? Do you believe in these stocks in the long term? It's really important for you to ask yourself these questions and really dig into the fundamentals of these companies. But it's important for us to invest in the market that we have at hand and not the markets that we want to have. Of course, all of us want to go back to 2020 and go back to 2021 when Bitcoin was exploding, stocks were exploding, and everything was good for the most part in the short view at least. The market is very challenging and it's important for us to be aware of the headwinds. So let's have a discussion about that. The fear of inflation is still here and of course we also know that the Federal Reserve is not being accommodative anymore with interest rates going up the multiple that a lot of these stocks are trading at are gonna come down. In very simple terms, the market is viewing these companies, crypto miners, for example, less favorably, and people are really flooding away from these stocks and going into more defensive and more conservative stocks. That is a huge headwind for us. Now, this is not only gonna put pressure on technology stocks that we've seen in the NASDAQ, it's also gonna put pressure on Bitcoin and crypto miners, and we could potentially continue to see weakness in Bitcoin and also in the crypto miners. So just because the stock has dropped 70%, it doesn't mean that it can't drop even further than that. We also need to address network difficulty. As I mentioned, a lot of these crypto miners are processing transactions, which uses a huge amount of computational power. As this hash rate goes up, it's gonna be much more difficult for these miners to mine for Bitcoin. So if the price of Bitcoin continues to drop, and if we continue to see the revenues of these companies go down as well, it means that these stocks are still going to see some difficulty going up. So that's something that you need to appreciate. So we have this really toxic combination of not only the macro environment not being very accommodative to growth stocks like crypto miners unlike cryptocurrencies, we also have the fear that investors believe that these crypto miners are going to have to invest heavily to stay competitive and to stay profitable. And of course, we can't be around the bush, but there is a genuine fear of a recession, which could ultimately put a huge hindrance on the price of Bitcoin. So right now, the market is just not being very kind to these stocks. The bottom line is, guys, the stock market right now is pricing these stocks to failure. We have the fear of competition going up, of hash rates going up. We have the fear of Bitcoin dropping because of recession fears, the fear of inflation, the cost of everything is going up. And we have the war in Ukraine, the lockdowns in China. There's just not a lot to be optimistic about. And that puts us in a position where we could find opportunity. If you genuinely believe in the future of cryptocurrencies and you genuinely believe that these crypto miners are going to stay profitable, this could be a really great opportunity for you to buy into companies at really strong valuations. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but please do your own research and due diligence on these stocks. For me personally, I haven't really bought into any of these stocks as of right now. I'm still holding on to my cash because I do want to see how things are going to progress with the Federal Reserve, with inflation, and with interest rates going up. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day.